Hi, I'm Dr. Gladys Mitchell Walthour. Thanks for visiting my site. My research is on Afro-Brazilian racial identification and political behavior. So why is it that in a country such as Brazil, Afro-Brazilians outnumber whites? In fact, they are over half the population. Yet, they are significantly underrepresented in politics. And that's at the federal level, the state level, and the local level. So my research is trying to get at this larger question. And I try to get to this question by looking at Afro-Brazilian racial identification. One of the major findings that I have is that Afro-Brazilians that identify as black are more likely to vote for black candidates than those who identify as non-black. So categories such as Moreno, Moreno Claro, or other brown categories um, that are non-black categories. Another major finding that I have is that Afro-Brazilians that feel attached to other blacks are more likely to vote for black candidates than those who don't feel attached to blacks. My current research is really looking at this notion of black group attachment. So what does that mean in the Brazilian context and why is it important? Why is it important to talk about Brazil? I believe it's important to talk about Brazil, especially for African Americans, because Brazil has the largest population of African descendants after Nigeria. Also, lots of African slaves came to Brazil much more than in the United States. There's been a number of black movements in Brazil that African Americans just don't know about. Many Brazilians know about leaders in the African American community, past and present, it's common for Brazilians to know about people such as Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. But do we know about leaders such as Abdes do Nascimento? Abdes do Nascimento was a black movement activist, a scholar, and an intellectual. I think it's important that we know about the various social and political movements going on in Brazil, especially black movements. Today, Brazil has affirmative action policies in universities, and these policies began to be implemented in 2001. The reason for the implementation is because of pressure from black movement leaders. So much like the civil rights movement and black power movements in the United States that put pressure on our government and politicians to make change, the same thing has happened and continues to happen in Brazil. And I think it's important that we know about this. I also think because Brazil is a leading economy, it now has the sixth largest economy in the world, that it's a country that we can't ignore. So we must establish relationships with other Afro-Brazilians in the hopes that as the country continues to progress, that Afro-Brazilians will also become leaders in the country. And I think it's important that we develop these collaborations and exchanges with various Afro-Brazilians.